Frank didn't just receive punishment, he dished it out too, attacking eight prison governors. I knew some didn't mind a good punch, so they could walk around the prison with half a dozen stitches under their eye, didn't frighten me. So they'd come in the bucket brigade, I'd do them with buckets full of shit and piss, and ram it over their heads, and all you'd see is little turds. Other prisoners used excrement to defend themselves. When you're naked in a strip cell and a prison officer is going to come in and beat you up, if the only thing that's going to deter them is that you've covered yourself with your own piss and shit, well then that's the route you're going to go, just to save yourself a beating. If it wasn't bodily waste, Frank was using his own blood as a weapon. I managed to get a bit of razor and cut this to pieces, but with mine there was a method in it. I knew that when the governor come round, I lock Fraser, but he was the governor who come right in your cell. And I jumped on him and smothered him with blood and give him a few punches and all. And I had 80 stitches in each arm. The governor didn't take too kindly to Frank's behavior. He was the infamous Governor Lawton. Any criticism Frank Fraser had about Lawton, it was probably right because Lawton was probably the most hardest person I'd ever be seen met in authority and that's in the whole of my life, even up till today. Frank was put in a straitjacket and almost suffocated on the floor of his cell overnight. Governor Lawton kept looking in on him. He's still alive, won't be long now, he'll soon be dead. Who cared then if you died? There'd be an inquest, natural causes, be the end of it. Frank didn't forget the taunting he received, and in November 1951, he waited outside Wandsworth Prison to get his revenge. I knew his routine, where he exercised his dog on the con, and I waited for him. He dreaded a punch. I had oh, done him lovely, yeah. Leapt at him, bash, bomb, and hung him. Yeah. But one, I wasn't strong enough or tall enough to reach a higher branch, and Lawton's toes managed to touch the ground. He survived. Other prisoners decided to use Frank's bucket method for getting back at Lawton. Well, I walked towards the toilet, picked up this bucket and dumped it on his head. And it was, it was the best day of my life.